A bicyclist moves along a straight line with an initial velocity v0 and slows down. Which of the following best describes the signs set for the initial position, initial velocity, and the acceleration of the bicyclist dependent upon the graph shown down here? If we take notice of the wording here, we know that we're moving with an initial velocity v0 and we're slowing down. Now we want to find the signs that go for each the initial position, velocity, and acceleration of the object. So the first step is to find depend upon the initial position. So if we look at our number line here, we see that the person initially starts at negative 10 meters. So we al already know that the initial position has to be negative. So A and B, you can already cross those off because only C, D, and E have a negative initial position. The second thing to check for is the initial velocity. We see that the initial velocity, v0 here, is pointing in the negative direction. So our v0 is also negative. So we go through our choices that we have narrowed down, c, d, and e. We see that c is not possible because it's saying that we have an initial positive velocity when in fact it's negative. So now we've narrowed it down to both d and e. The final question it proposed is, what is the sign of the acceleration? If we're slowing down as we're moving along in the negative direction, we need an acceleration that is in the opposite direction of our initial velocity. So if the acceleration was negative, that would result in an increase in the magnitude of the velocity because it's in the same direction as the velocity is pointed. So think of it as if you applied a force to this object, and gave it an acceleration in this direction, in the direction of its initial velocity, you're going to increase that velocity because V is equal to a negative V naught minus an AT. The negative sign here will wind up causing the initial velocity to get more negative. That's not right. We want to know when it's going to cause it to slow down. So in order for that to occur, this acceleration here has to be positive. That would result in our velocity to decrease as time progresses. So, with that being said, we can now see that our answer is D. So our initial position is negative, our velocity is in the negative direction, and because we're slowing down, our acceleration has to be in the opposite direction of our velocity, or of our initial velocity, so it's in the positive direction then, in order for the bicyclist to slow down. So our answer is D, initial position is negative, our initial velocity is negative, and the acceleration is positive.